Hi everybody, uh, welcome in this uh, new video. Uh, I created this one for mainly for a Harama that asked me how to set up some sliders in a scene uh, and so I'll base my demonstration on my actual whip scene so there is nothing changed compared to the last post I'd, uh, I'd put uh, on the forum. Uh, the only change that you could notice is here a missing slider. I just deleted this one so that I will be able uh, by recreating it to show you how I'm how I'm making. Uh, just so to show you what happens when I manipulate them for example here I open and close the, the claw here I command the rotation of the of the crane, and here the uh, this uh, this rotation. Okay. So the objective of the remaining uh, slider here is to command this one. So the rotation of this black arm here from the yellow base of the crane. Okay. So we can very easily do manually here some uh, some manipulation of course so here I've got so if I go here in my um, in my Sen uh, schematic you'll see a huge huge link huge links okay so it's not great if some of you could give me some tips about that they are welcome so I'm hiding this one, but here if I rotate that you can see everything's coming along quite nicely. Okay. So we will command so the objective is to create a slider that will command the rotation of this particular axis. Okay. So let's keep our Lego piece hidden so that we clearly see here. Let's just um, let's set the view like that. I'm saving because we're not not sure Max could uh, stay uh, cool. Go into the helper here in the create panel helper and go in the manipulators. So I really don't know what these are. Actually, this is interesting us. So let's create it. For example, here. Now we can very easily uh, by clicking the little square here. We can easily manipulate it in the view you can place it where you want okay so here I'm just gonna place it here okay it's not perfectly aligned for this video it will be okay so here there's a value okay for the moment it's not interesting us okay position I don't like the snaps I'm always giving a label to my to my slider so for example this will be the rotation I'll put in in English relation arm one, and I always here I put the the unit so that here I can I know what I see like value. Okay, uh, here you can so here is what I can call slider power is that here I know that here the minimum value is zero because it's set it up like that and here it's 100 now if I just want this to for example the maximum value to be 65.1 if I now manipulate my here and go here I get 65.1 okay so this will allow me to give a uh, boundary to my moves okay and we'll see how I I do to set this uh, this limit okay so here I got my slider Okay, that will command my rotation. Now, just let's just say how this will command that. So here, select this baby. So here you, I have to double click on this little square here. Let's right click, select wire parameter. That's the value of the slider that will command here. The transform the rotation along the x-axis of my Lego axis okay so the value here will command here okay let's connect so here I've got a bad thing let's just manipulate it's not turning along the right axis why 
and you can so here we've got two problems here it's turning a lot and it's not turning along the what axis the, the right axis so control Z to to kill this connection we can kill here the window we just created and now here I'm just gonna here affect pivot and align to world so that now I will perfectly know how set it up is my axis okay because actually I don't really need to know the orientation because everything is coming along nicely okay this operation must be done when your 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 model is perfectly finished and placed basically basically uh, placed okay <coughs> so here we've got our our slider that will come on the rotation so now we know it's X just to convince you check here it's red so it will be this one the rotation along this axis so let's restart this operation double click right click wire parameter the value of the object slider will command the X rotation of my Lego axis connect let's repeat so here it's better you can see here if I go very slowly I'm turning in the right direction but I'm turning quite very too much because max is a bit special you have to convert in radiant the value in degrees you are using actually so the, the be careful it's these formulas are case sensitive so here it's a minus uh, it's a, I don't know we say it's a little one and here it's a cap and here too so here I convert in radiant my value I click update check now yeah it's really bad okay now I just ha so here I can kill my little window and now I just have here to find the minimum and maximum so my minimum go in the modifier panel so here I'm just gonna play with here the minimum value and come here I'm quite close okay I'm quite close so as I said in my thread I'm using proxies so here I'm just gonna uh, open the listener I should have them uh, uh, sorry okay so here I've got my IRS object okay and now I'm just gonna I'm just going to here like this and try to find uh, the right value okay Oop, I'm not selecting the right one sorry I didn't select here So here I'm approximately good. So less 54 should be great. Okay, let's say it's it's okay. Now I need to find the high position. Uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, sorry. Yeah, this was the here is the maximum. So where is the sorry I'm doing really oh let's come here and check in the view here so that it comes approximately where where I want so here and here less 64 okay so this is just it's really tweakings it's not a universal rule it will be it's totally dependent of your of your scene so setting up the minimum and maximum is a quite fun fun part because when you are at this level everything is done I just give my go back to proxy mode and now let's just manipulate a little bit come here manipulate here it is okay so I've done exactly that so my process is very easy have a nice year key knowing exactly who is commanding the move and next just link the good move it could be a translation or another rotation 
and here just wire this parameter to this slider okay slider commanding this movement and once you've done that if it's rotation never forget to convert them in radiant and next just set the minimum value so that here it comes to the the extreme position your extreme position and after in the other extreme position in the opposite extreme position okay so I did that with this one too commanding the axis that is exactly here okay uh, no uh, the axis that is here so that's this rotation the rotation of this one I'm commanding okay so the rotation of the platform I don't really I think if I will remember that's still this gear I'm commanding okay and next this rotation so this is commanding the rotation the rotation of this one and this rotation is commanding the translation here of these ones okay those two sliders okay and next the last one for the claw I'm commanding the move of this part because it's path constraint okay and here I'm just commanding the along path value okay check how it moves here okay zero percent one hundred percent which is zero one here is how I done with this model so actually it's not totally over in terms of legal construction it not and it's not totally over in terms of rigging because here I still to uh, be able to maintain this uh, claw part horizontal I've got to rig the direction too um, and it will be and I've got some uh, some parts to add here it is. so I hope I helped with this video I uh, hope I've not been too long uh, here is uh, what else to say uh, bye bye and good luck uh, good luck with your future rigs uh, goodbye